One of my favorite things to do is fish for big northern smallmouth during the pre-spawn. You know, it's a great time of the year. You know, the ice is just coming out. These fish are thinking about spawning. They're already starting to move shallow. I mean, right after ice out, and they really congregate together. So you can have just an incredible day where not only you catch some really big fish, but you can catch a whole lot of them. It's a really special time of year. You know, when I'm targeting these big fish in this early cold water pre-spawn time, you got to find them first, you know, I mean, they can be a little bit sluggish, a little bit lethargic, but one thing is a jerk bait is always a go-to for me. I mean, I can fish it, you know, fairly fast. You got to, you know, you do have to slow it down, but you can cover water with it still. It's perfect because these fish are moving up to the edges of these flats and things like that. And it'll be a great tool to help you find the right area where there's a lot of fish at. When I'm fishing a jerk bait, it's all about matching the depth zone of the bait for the water that you're on. You know, in some of the deeper Great Lakes, Lake Michigan, Lake Ontario, where the, the fish just generally live on deeper flats, even in the pre-spawn, you're going to use that 300 series deep diving jerk bait. But a lot of these natural, you know, shallower lakes, uh, those fish will get up, I mean, they may get up in three, four foot of water, so you may have to go to a 200 or a 300 series. So, you know, I just really want to match the jerk bait to the depth zone of the flat that I'm fishing. You know, my second favorite bait is definitely a Strike King Rage Swimmer. You know, whether it's a 325 or a 375, I'm going to match it with a, you know, a jig head that fits the depth zone that I'm at. And this is something that I'm going to fish, not like a typical swim bait where you're fishing it up off the bottom, but down right on the bottom. I'm actually kind of scruffing the bottom. So you can fish it over the rocks, the sand grass, and it just matches everything that the smallmouth love to eat. You know, whether, again, it's gobies or perch or crawfish, that Rage Swimmer just has that slow wag to the tail and just kind of swimming it along the bottom or just kind of scruffing it or dragging it, kind of shaking it, hopping it along. They just can't pass it up. It's a great tool that, again, you can cover really any depth zone and the fish just really like it. You know, the other thing you have to have for smallmouth is you have to have a true bottom bouncing bait. And there's a lot of options. You know, a tube is still one of my favorites, but you know, in the last few years, a Ned rig has become so popular because it's just so good at triggering inactive fish. So I usually keep a couple of them rigged. My favorite without a doubt is a Strike King Ned head with a baby Z2. I mean, that little thing on there, that baby Z2 on there, just it stands up on that Strike King Ned head. It's real subtle. You know, I'm usually gonna throw a natural color like an Arkansas Shiner or a Deal or something like that. It just flat catches smallmouth. It looks like a minnow, it looks like a, a crawfish. It's just a, it's a great tool. But a Ned Ocho is really hard to beat as well. So, you know, I usually have both of them rigged, a couple of different colors. You may have a crawfish pattern in the, in the Ned Ocho and more of a bait fish pattern in the Baby Z2. But that thing, just when you've got an area located with smallmouth, just that you know they're sitting, you know, an edge, a drop off, or, or, you know, a rock flat, a rock pile, something like that. That Ned is just incredible for actually uh, getting these fish to bite when they're really inactive. Now, I love to catch smallmouth really any time of the year, but during the pre-spawn in the spring is when it's just truly special. These fish really get grouped up. I mean, they're as big as they're gonna get all year long, and it just, they're congregated. So it can be some of the best fishing of the year.